when you finance a truck through farm credit leasing, whether it be a you know $300,000 bucket truck or whatever, at the end of the lease, you can walk away from the asset, you can buy the asset, you can sell the asset. We leased our uh, Volkswagen ID4 EV uh, just this year. By going through CoBank, we were able to take advantage of the tax credits. They utilized the tax credits and then lowered what our lease was going to be. It was a win-win for both parties. In order to be able to do the community solar in a way that we found be impactful, we wanted to uh, be able to own and operate that. But in order to do that, we needed that tax appetite. And, and CoBank was there right from the beginning. They worked uh, through us with that, and they continue to be a, a, a partner in that as we look at other communities, uh, solar and other tax appetite uh, offerings that we may be offering to our members. When you purchase an EV, if there's a tax credit, we really cannot take advantage of the tax credit to the fullest because we operate as a nonprofit. CoBank can take the savings from the tax credit and pass it on to you in the form of a lower rate. It gives us the benefit that a for-profit company would have. By utilizing that tax credit, it made the EV very affordable and gave us an opportunity to purchase it at a very uh, reasonable price and loan it out to our members and any uh, community leaders that wanted to drive it so we could promote the technology. Today's world moves a lot faster than it did even 10 years ago. What's new today is outdated tomorrow. By leasing our technology assets, such as servers, lasers, and other IT hardware, we're able to stay up to date and move with technologies that moves. Music